Elon Musk is a member of the country club. Yep. Yeah, don't get me wrong. When we talk about these elite guys and all that, now I'm not talking about Bill Gates. I'm not talking about, you know, uh, like uh, Facebook, Zuckerberg. Hey, y'all, um, Elon Musk has gone to such great lengths to keep his image clean. He, he, he doesn't have the negative stigmata that these other others do, like George Soros, you know, and, and uh, Zuckerberg and... Uh, you know, other ones like Twitter was owned by Dorsey. Dorsey cut Trump off, and and now Elon Musk buys buys Twitter. I don't know if they're gonna let Trump come back. I don't even know. I don't even know if Trump's relevant anymore. I don't know. Uh, all I know is that uh, the prediction I said that he was going to be a force in American politics even after you no know, January sixth when he was when he was ousted from the presidency. All oh, that's come true. No, but nobody like tr nobody has done what Trump has done. And, and, and very few people even realize how true that prediction came because the media is not putting this out. But that man has done rallies all over the entire nation and brought the nation together. I experienced one. I couldn't even get. I had tickets to the one in Conroe to a Trump rally. Couldn't even get 10 miles from the place. That security was tight. Cars were everywhere. Locked down. I couldn't even get in, man. That many people wanted to go see Trump. Yeah. No Democrat in American history has ever drawn crowds like that. And he's not even running for president. He's just doing doing rallies. Crazy. It's crazy. I don't know. I've heard I've heard the MCO. I don't know what it is. You'll have to educate me on that. Listen, guys, I'm I'm really only educated on the things that I have a passion for and that I have I have deeply involved myself in, which is human antiquities, mathematics. Uh, in calendrics. I don't know a whole lot outside of that. I don't even keep up with current events, really. I don't learn about current events until somebody, you know, sends me some money to do predictions for them, and I, and I do them, and I release them on YouTube. I still have some predictions I got to do. I still got to do, uh, I mean, I got, people ask me to do them. I, I haven't really, it's not a contract or anything, but I still have to do some predictions on some countries, because I'm just generally interested in Russia and Ukraine and Israel and all that. Uh, I had mentioned earlier that Israel was going to go to war. I need to. I need to. I need to. I need. To, I need to retract that a little bit. I see in my isometric projections. I see Israel in all-out war, land, sea, and air. Next year, but it's going to start this year. Before the end of this year, a series of events will unfold that by early next year, Israel's going to be at war. Yeah, there's no. There's no doubt in my mind whatsoever. So it's really both years. I don't know what's going to instigate it or anything. I don't know. But at the same time, I also see a, a United States United States uncapping all its oil wells and, and solving this crisis. We have a lot of oil in America. We've been capping oil wells here in Texas since the 70s. Find them and cap them. Find them and cap them. Find them and cap them. Yep.